Jack Sundberg from the Glover Energy Committee, and um, we are working together with the uh, Greensboro Energy Committee and the uh, Craftsbury Energy Committee to uh, produce some insulating storm window inserts that look like this. Most of them are bigger than this. They fit on the inside of a window. They're a pine frame wrapped with plastic on both sides. So they <laughs> add <laughs> uh, two dead air spaces and a foam weather strip around the edge. They just fit on the inside of the window, fit tightly into, into the um, window trim and um, really uh, improve the performance, especially of single glaze windows, but also of older double glaze windows as well. Um, they, are, uh, they were devised by a group in Maine called Window Dressers, a nonprofit in Maine. who have been making them for eight years. They want to share the idea with people in Vermont. And uh, we did a, a test run um, this last winter in Glover and made uh, 160 of these that went into 27 houses. Um, the parts uh, come from Maine, they cut the pine to length and um, supply the plastic film and the various tapes and then uh, people who are going to buy the windows come together in a community workshop and do the assembly work. And uh, the people in Maine have also invented a whole range of very clever jigs and tools that make it easy for volunteers to produce these. Um, and they make a huge difference. I have them in my house, I can testify <laughs> that they work. <laughs> so my name's Ashley, and I'm here with Vermont Homes. We are a high-performance modular home company in Wilder, Vermont, and we build carbon-free, net-zero modular homes. So our mission is to provide affordable, durable, and efficient housing for all Vermonters despite income um, or other obstacles. So we run a mobile home replacement program, we do custom homes if you're looking for that, um, but we're always helping homeowners to find the right kind of financing and incentives and grants and things that make sense for them. And in 2000 and I want to say 16, maybe 17, we built um, 13 homes in Evergreen Manor uh, in Hardwick, Vermont. Yeah, so that was an awesome project. We worked with um, some housing trusts and um, yeah, I was just coming in at that time so I wasn't as hands-on, but there's pictures of that here today. and. My, my name is Paul Sipple. I'm with uh, New England Construction Company, and I'm a member of the Vermont Passive House Association. And um, our, our, our goal as in Vermont Passive House is to try and educate people, architects, neighbors, whoever, to um, build as tight a building as they can with the insulation that is proper for their location. Uh, so, and that's what Passive House does. It analyzes um, a building and says, this building with this many windows at this orientation and in this particular weather spot is going to require um, an R40 wall, an R80 ceiling, uh, an R30 uh, basement, in order for it to have the least amount of um, energy expended per square foot at, that it can reasonably have with off-the-shelf, commonly available products. Hello, uh, my name is Caleb Craven. I'm with Arbor Vitae Design Build. Uh, I've been building since 2004. Started out doing a lot of timber frames. Uh, usually second homes for people. Um, have since evolved to placing more emphasis on the uh, envelope of the house, uh, finding high performance uh, ways to insulate homes and uh, make them extremely comfortable uh, and very affordable to occupy. Um, and uh, so yeah, I believe in uh, using as little foam as possible. Um, I believe in using a lot of cellulose as a natural product. Uh, and I believe in building houses that will hopefully last many generations uh, and be treasured for years to come. Thank you. Hi, my name is Lisa Moore. 
Morris, and I work for Vermont Electric Cooperative. Um, we're a nonprofit member owned electric utility, and we're here today at the Craftsbury Energy Fair to talk about some of our programs. Um, we have a co op community solar program where our members can sponsor panels in off site solar arrays for 10 or 20 years. There's a bill credit that they get back as a result of that sponsorship. And we also have um, our energy transformation program where we're helping members to offset fossil fuels, basically get away from fossil fuels for transportation and heating, which are the largest contributors of emissions in the state of Vermont. So we offer bill credits for electric vehicles, um, cold climate heat pumps, heat pump water heaters, pellet stoves, publicly accessible charging stations, and a couple other things. So we're just here to talk to some of our members and people in the larger community about different um, programs that we have. I'm uh, Ben Tasca, and I'm with uh, Boreal Builders, LLC. Um, my partner, Tomas Cohen, is also part of the business. Um, and we live in Woodbury and Barnet, Vermont. So we're kind of serving the general uh, northern Vermont and over the border into New Hampshire area. Um, we do carpentry, we do um, kind of everything building wise. We do tile, we do interior and exterior work. Um, so we, it kind of runs the gamut. On a crew with uh, Matt Moody here, who was the general contractor at a recent um, project in Craftsbury actually, um, building a very energy efficient house. It was just a very tight house. So um, no, um, nothing was left behind as far as making sure the house was well sealed, um, well insulated, um, both inside and out. Um, so we used lots of different green energy products and um, we um, were very uh, thorough with our installation, let's say, um, just to make sure that we were maximizing the potential of products. One uh, cool thing on this project is that we use this um, new technology called aero sealing, which um, happens after, uh, during the installation process, and it basically seals all the excess cracks from the inside so that it kind of um, makes the envelope extra tight. So it's something you kind of do after you've built the envelope and that kind of seals it up from the inside out and then you insulate it and then hopefully you have a net zero house as a result. So these are things from the Vermont Energy Education Program, otherwise known as VEEP. It's a nonprofit education organization. Um, we bring curriculum, workshop lessons into classrooms all throughout the state of Vermont. Um, these are an example of some of our WindWorks equipment. Um, these kids are playing with how you can use wind to do work for you. There's an example of how you can make electricity with wind and also how you can lift weights with wind. So I'm Sally Ayers. I'm with the Heat Squad. Uh, we are here in the Northeast Kingdom uh, just this year. It's our first year uh, offering um, energy audits, low-cost energy audits, so very comprehensive home energy audits for our residential customers. Our program started in Rutland um, in 2010. Uh, a grant allowed us to move forward into the Northeast Kingdom. So I'm an energy auditor and a home uh, analyst. Um, working for the Heat Squad, um, offering these audits. Um, we've done uh, probably upward of 100 uh, since we launched uh, last summer. Uh, a lot of customers are uh, moving forward with weatherization projects. They're moving forward with um, appliance upgrades. We work with Efficiency Vermont, help the customer through uh, the um, incentive and rebate structure that uh, Efficiency yes. Vermont yes. offers. And um, we're really happy to be here in Craftsbury. We do a lot of work in Craftsbury, but we're in Caledonia, Orleans, and Essex. So I pretty much travel the whole kingdom um, and, and enjoy meeting my neighbors and, and people and helping them uh, make sense of their homes and their, their future projects. Hey, 
Hey there, um, I'm Dylan Kinsey with uh, Kinsey Construction. We're here at the uh, Energy Fair with the uh, Craftsbury Energy Committee. Um, I'm a builder, uh, I own Kinsey Construction. Um, uh, we're from uh, South Albany, Vermont, and uh, we, are, uh, I, we specialize in high performance new construction and renovation projects. And uh, we are hosting one of several tours that the Craftsbury and Glover Energy Committees have teamed up on. Um, this weekend, uh, April 20th, 2019, we're going to be touring um, the house that my wife and I built for ourselves. It's a high performance uh, zero net energy home, uh, complete with uh, rooftop uh, photovoltaics, uh, heat pumps, uh, a whole house ventilation system, and um, uh, super insulated walls. It's a double two by four stud wall with uh, dense packed cellulose. Um, extremely good air tightness. We also have triple glazed windows from uh, Ireland, actually. Tilt turn Euro style windows. And um, house also features a, uh, a heat pump water heater. And try to think of any other amazing things about this building. My name is Molly Brandt, and I'm a member of the Greensboro Energy Committee. We do a couple of different things for Greensboro residents. We work with Craftsbury and Glover on the window dressers program, which you might have just heard about. So if you're a Greensboro resident, you can talk to us about that. We also uh, are connected with Mark Snyder, a local uh, Efficiency Vermont representative who will do walkthroughs uh, of, your <laughs> of your home. Uh, to help identify what parts of your house might be leaky or might need a little bit more weatherization. Um, we also can connect you with all of the different Efficiency Vermont programs for rebates and uh, different tools to get the job done. So if you're interested in getting in touch with us, you can contact Anna Keeler. Uh, at Anna Keeler at gmail.com. That's A N N A K E H L E R at gmail.com. Hello, um, I'm Kurt Labor. I have a business in Irisburg, Vermont, um, Northern Precision Foam. We do spray foam insulation mostly. We do a lot of um, new, new construction and uh, remodeling, remodel construction. Uh, but we do residential and commercial. And uh, like you see, it has a lot of, lot of different. Uh, um, there's a lot of different things you can do, like basements, wet basements. We, a lot of times we take, uh, we take uh, old field stone basements. You can spray foam them, put the fire coating, and and a drainage plane with pea stones and stuff. And then you get a dry, warm basement after. Um, you know, new construction spray foaming and joists and. Uh, a lot of uh, a, a new houses too with all the cathedral ceilings and stuff. There's no better way to insulate cathedral ceilings and stuff than spray foam um, to get the air value and the air ceiling. And I don't know, it's a pretty versatile product. We're even getting into uh, um, remodel with uh, injection foam where you can inject it into the walls some. That's something new that we're starting to do. Um, not many people do it. It's tricky, but you know, um, it's always better to gut it. And do, but we don't want to gut it. I mean, and you have a um, a building that has historical value to it. I mean, sometimes that's the only thing you can do. So. My name is Lisa Lasanti, and I work with VSCCU, Vermont State Employees Credit Union. And we're here today. We offer financing for all of your energy improvement needs. Everything from solar to we work with Efficiency Vermont on the heat saver program, um, energy efficient vehicles, bicycles, anything that you could think of for your energy improvement needs. We even have our V Green Money Market account where all funds deposited go into financing our V Green energy improvement products. Hi, so my name is Mark Snyder. I'm your local energy auditor. We perform certified home energy audits and also light commercial. And an energy audit is an assessment of your building. We look for insulation values, we look for air leaks, we look for health and human safety, and we produce certified audits and estimates that are realistic. And most of my customers 
myself included as a customer, um, save money by doing this work. We help the planet, we help our community, and it feels good. Um, I have three posters here. One is an antique train station that I redid. It went from 11 cords of wood to three. This is a deep energy retrofit we actually did in Greensboro. And then this is an example of just an old funky farmhouse that reduced its energy usage by 56% and had a 2.8 year payback. So this is a sampling of what we do. I'm a participating contractor with Efficiency Vermont and I love what I do.